Now, Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis and your Storm Team 2 forecast. All right, this evening we're looking at some clouds out there, and we will see a couple of flurries here and there. Some breaks in the clouds developing later tonight. 22, 7 o'clock, 18, 9 p.m., and uh, down to 17 at 11 o'clock, but really gets cold late tonight. Single digit numbers as some Arctic air comes in, a mix of clouds and sunshine tomorrow. 10 degrees at noon, 11 at 5 o'clock, and even tomorrow there could be a couple of flakes of snow falling from time to time and a couple of scattered flurries. Our weather headlines calling for that snow to be ending this evening and just uh, leftover flurries after that. Very cold weather around on Tuesday. A wind chill advisory goes into effect tonight and stays in effect most of the day tomorrow. And then here we go again, just like last week. Looks like those temperatures will be climbing again at the end of the week. Tonight, a winter weather advisory remains in effect for the Miami Valley. And then that wind chill advisory going into effect from 11 o'clock until 3 o'clock on Tuesday for wind chill numbers between 10 and 15 degrees below zero later tonight and tomorrow. We'll see actual air temperatures get down between about 0 and 5, down about 3 for us. And then tomorrow afternoon, up around 12, about 10 to 15 over our area. And then Wednesday morning, looking for temperatures down near 0 with the snow cover on the ground. And here's a time lapse. Troy Stouter Center, four hours ago, you can see some snow falling. And then uh, a break in the snowfall. And night now falling over the area and still cloudy skies out there. Some of the snowfall totals today. Seems like some of the heavier amounts to the east of us. Low state in Jamestown, four inches there, uh, three inches reported by Tom Wyckoff in Springfield and Gary Rust in Camden, about three inches of snow, and then tapering off to about two inches. Lowell Miller up in Greenville, two and a half inches reported by John Kingham in Tip City. Live Doppler 2 HD tonight, still a couple of flurries have returned to the area, but the accumulating snows have generally worked off to the east here. Sabina on the tail end of that now. Up north, still a couple of flurries, snow showers working through Sydney, Bell Fountain, Wap. Canetta and Salina up in Mercer and Auglaize counties with a cold front coming in from the west. But as that front pushes in, we'll also see uh, some drier air come back in with a colder air moving in on a west wind tonight. 14 miles per hour, 25 degrees our current temperature reading, and it feels like 13 degrees out there. Down to 23 in Richmond, 24 in Greenville. So everybody below freezing tonight in the 20s. There's that front coming through this evening. And then behind it, we see some breaks in the clouds. Just a chance of a couple of snow flurries tomorrow. Closer to the lakes, a better chance of seeing some of those snow flurries in the colder air. And that cold air is going to be with us at least through Wednesday. But as I mentioned, at the end of the week, it looks like temperatures will moderate again. Tonight, down to about three with snow ending. Very cold. And we'll see partly to mostly cloudy skies overnight. Mixed clouds and sunshine tomorrow. Chance for a couple of snow flurries and high tomorrow only near 12 with a west wind at 5 to 15. 7 to 10 o'clock, 10 degrees at noon, up around 12 at 4 o'clock and 9 degrees at 6 p.m. Down to zero Wednesday morning with a high of 20, but then here comes the warm up. 30 degrees, mostly sunny on Thursday. Friday's high up around 40, near 50 on Saturday with mostly cloudy skies. And then we'll see a chance of rain return Sunday with highs in the low to mid 50s. A cold front moves through Monday. Some rain showers could be some snow showers after that and falling temperatures. So we get through a couple, three cold days. Mm -hmm. Here we go again, warming it up again. Yeah, 53 in January. You'll take that anytime. Yeah, we had 50s last week.